Hi folks, this is his dad in front of me. I've got the Spartan by Cold Steel. And I'll tell you what, folks, I've been looking at some folks doing reviews on Cold Steel for a while. And, uh, you know, I thought to myself, why don't you pick one up, his dad, and do a review? So I went over there to Cold Steel anytime, anywhere. Let's take a look at that, folks. All right, never mind the, the glare coming off of that camera right there, or that, that uh, light. But the Spartan AUS-10A SKU CS-21ST, for all you who want to know, that is $129.99. And, you know, they they review really well online, and, and they've got this special attachment right here, which goes into your pocket, and... When you pull it out or deploy it, as they say, the thing, uh, it, it pops open as you're pulling it out. And uh, you kind of grab it right there and away you go. And you've got a combat knife. Now, would you say anything other than, well, the fact they called it Spartan. And those are very aggressive human beings that no longer, well, some of them do. But they used to walk the earth a long time ago. Um this, you know, that's brings combat to your brain. Um, is it sharp? Yeah. Now, let's talk. Okay, let's talk, shall we? This is not a cold steel by or a Spartan by cold steel uh, that I'm holding, at least not to my knowledge. Um, what it is is a wish.com 1270. Yeah, I'll show it to you right there. Twelve dollars and seventy cents, uh, Spartan clone. And when you get right up close to it, folks, you can probably tell that a real Spartan probably doesn't look like that. I, I'd say if I had a real Spartan in front of me, um, the cold steel. Uh, this is a little wonky right there. Other than that, I'm imagining you're going to get the same same thing, same knife. Um, I, I can't imagine this being much different. Um, I've seen the reviews. I've seen people talk about them. Um, when, you, when you get a, a plastic or a poly, um, or I, I don't know what, what, what this is. Um, when you get this type of handle, you're, you're at the mercy of it. Uh, your blade is going to probably withstand much of whatever you do to it. But if you're going to go in there and like go in between rib cages and stuff like that, I imagine you are going to replace these or tighten these down quite a bit, keeping them together with some Loctite, um, regardless if it's a cold steel or if this is a wish.com. Um, I look at a lot of knives. Um, some of them are, are high quality. Some of them are just Pakistan Chinese um, remakes of quality knives. And I'll tell you what, man, um, I never say no to an opportunity to review a knife. Um, that, that costs $129 in real life. So, what do you get? A very sharp knife. Very sharp. Not sharp, sharp, sharp. Thick knife. Thick. So, I imagine, um, you know, it is what it is. It's um, the same knife steel that they make just about every other knife out of this part of the world where they come from. Um, I oiled it just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit in there. Just dropped a couple drops of oil. Um, and it works just fine. Um, do I want to carry this? No. God, no. Thing's huge. Massive. Do you? Maybe. Maybe you're on wish.com the other day and you typed in cold steel looking for something and this popped up. And you said, could it be? Yeah. It's tight. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. You got any wiggle? No, because you got adjustables right there. So it's not going to wiggle. It's not going to play. Um, does it drop down the middle? Nah, a little bit. Kind of kind of hangs towards uh, this side just a little bit right down the middle. But you could adjust that out with these tensions. All of that, I imagine. Yeah, I imagine that's all adjustable in there to get whatever you want. Um, so you know what I say, folks, for $12.70 plus I think it was three dollars some odd cents in shipping because I get coupons all day long. Um, 
Yeah, I could buy like five of these. In fact, I bought two. So, you know, one for my nephew, and I gave it to him. And I said, remember his dad always, when you cut yourself open or you tear your pants open trying to show everybody how this works. But do you need to go out and buy a cold steel? Maybe you do. Or maybe you need to go to wish.com and spend $13 plus tax. I don't know. But hey, folks, that's what I did, and this is what I got. Okay, this is Dad saying I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. So please hit that like and subscribe and show the channel some love. Bye now.